Hello everyone! Today I'm going to talk through a few things that I wish I knew before I went off to music school. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth Knob and I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Since it's the beginning of August, I know a bunch of you are going to be going off to music school in the next few weeks. So these are five things that I wish I knew before I went off to music school. Things that would have helped me earlier on to be just a healthier person and a healthier musician and happier person overall. If you're not about to move into music school but you would like to learn how you can get from high school student to college musician, you can check out my free guide called Roadmap to Music School down in the description box. It's a free download and I go through the steps that you'll need to take to go from high school musician to college musician and it is super helpful. So music school or conservatory, whichever one you go to, is a huge jump from high school unless you went to some kind of like private performing arts school or something like that. You're going to go from learning your core subjects like math and reading and all of that that you learn in high school to learning about music all day every day with a bunch of strangers and it can be a really hard transition for anyone. Overall I had a really great experience in my college years and I'm so glad I went off to music school but like I said it's a hard transition and I just want you to be as prepared as you can be so that you have a really wonderful experience. My first tip might sound really basic and like you already know this, but you need to eat and get enough sleep. Those are like the building blocks for every single day. You need to get enough meals and you need to get enough sleep. When you're in the midst of music school, in the middle of a hard semester, it's really easy to fall into the trap of constantly practicing and getting all of your homework done and trying to be the best that you can be, but you can't be the best that you can be if you're not nourishing your body with food and rest. These are essentials for human life, and if you miss out on food and rest, you're gonna feel like a shell of a human, and it's not fun. So I know kind of the culture in music school is like, keep practicing and grinding all day, every day. You have to make as much progress and be the best that you can be, but you need food and sleep in order to do that. So be sure that you are taking care of your body because that really is the building block and the foundation that you need to do everything else. One way you can kind of combat this is if you eat meals with friends at around the same time every day, if your schedules kind of line up and you regularly go to these meals, you have lunch together or you have dinner with a different set of friends, kind of scheduling it in like that, like just having that sort of like requirement in your mind that you're gonna get food with these people, you're gonna do this, that can help you kind of stay on track and make sure that you're eating all of your meals in a day. You can also schedule in your practice sessions and when you're going to do your homework into your schedule so that you know exactly like, okay, I'm going to be practicing at this time and I'm going to get this assignment done at this time so that then you have enough time to eat your meals and sleep. So I've found that if you schedule something to take a certain amount of time, you're more likely to finish it faster because you set that expectation for yourself. This is kind of like a practice technique that I've found that if you schedule 45 minutes for something, it's gonna take 45 minutes or less, unless you're working super hard and it ends up taking more than 45 minutes. Whereas if you just put something off and then do it when you have time, it might take more than 45 minutes. You might not be as focused and kind of in the groove as you did if you scheduled it and you're like, okay, this is my time to do this assignment. It kind of helps keep things efficient and packed together. And then you've got more time to eat, sleep, hang out with friends, practice, whatever you wanna do. My second word of advice is to explore anything and everything that you can. So I find that as classical musicians, we tend to get kind of stuck in our ways and take the same classes, learn the same materials, and play the same kind of music as we always have. But everyone always says that college is the time to explore yourself and your interests and what you're good at and try different things. And it's absolutely true for classical musicians as well. Try a different type of ensemble, try playing a different type of music, even take a class outside of your major if you want check and see if there's a class on a different kind of music that you've never learned about before but sounds really interesting. You never know if this could be kind of your niche and where you really fit in, but you would never have known that if you hadn't explored it. And of course, it's college, so if you hate it, usually in the first week or two of the semester there's a drop ad period where you can drop a class and take a different one instead. So if you really, really hate it, you can always leave. It's okay. But at least you try. That's the important part. My third tip is to be nice and make connections. So I know that being kind all the time is not right, but being kind can get you really far. Just being a nice person 
someone who is enjoyable to be around and is friendly, you're gonna go much further than if you were rude and just uninterested in other people. Being respectful of others, especially as you're going through school, is so important because you never know when these people are going to come in and out of your lives again. You never know if someone might need you for a gig. You never know if you're gonna need someone else for a gig. You, you never know when you're going to need to rely on people or when other people might need to rely on you. So making good connections now and cultivating them and being kind and respectful towards others can really help get you a long way and that puts in a good word for you with other people. Please don't be nasty. No one likes making music with people who are rude or inconsiderate. It's just not fun. Most people like making music because it's fun. And if you're not a good person to be around, it's not gonna be a very good experience. I've heard so many stories from other musicians and administrators that they would rather hire someone who is kind and just an average musician over someone who is rude, but a really, really great musician. So being kind and just being a nice, responsible human being can go a long way. But of course, please stand up for yourself if someone is being disrespectful or rude towards you. Always stand your ground and part of being kind is being kind to yourself, which means setting boundaries. So if you need to set a boundary, that's okay. Just do it respectfully. That's it. My fourth tip is to not worry about other people too much. I know in the music world it's easy to compare yourself to others and that's something we all do but don't worry about other people too much just i don't want to say stay in your lane but kind of stay in your lane worry about your own progress and how you are progressing and what you're learning other people have their own journeys to go on and sometimes it aligns with yours sometimes it doesn't that's okay either way but focusing on your own learning can help keep you on the path that you want to go on Sometimes it can feel really, really lonely if your peers aren't interested in the same things as you or if they want to do things that you're not comfortable with. That can feel super lonely if kind of your values and expectations don't align, but really just focusing on yourself and your own growth can help it feel more healthier when you're not aligning with other people. You don't have to hang out with anyone that you don't want to, but it's good to cultivate professional relationships, which means you make good music together, you rehearse well together, you can do your homework together or talk respectfully in class or something. You don't have to hang out with people whose values don't align with yours. That's okay. You can have a professional relationship, but not an outside friendship. That's totally okay. That's how the world works. Not every relationship you have has to be a really great friendship. It can just be a good music making relationship and that's great. That can last your whole life, even if you aren't particularly friends because someone likes doing something that you don't want to do on the weekends. That's totally okay. Just know that it's not a good idea to really burn bridges in music school because, like I said earlier, you never know when people are going to come back into your life or if someone needs you for a gig or if you might need that person for a gig down the road. It's, it's not a good idea to burn bridges and say something that you're going to regret because that could just really mess things up down the road. So just always think before you talk, be kind and respectful and you know stand up for yourself when you need to. <laughs> My fifth and final piece of advice is to value friendship and collaboration over competition. So in the music world it is easy to get competitive because when we enter competitions we want to win scholarship money, we want to win a job. It's a lot of competing against each other. But in music school we're all going towards the same goal, which is this one degree. And there are enough degrees for everyone in your class. That's why they got accepted. There's gonna be a piece of paper for everyone who finishes all the requirements. And there's no limit to that, is there? Like, it's, it's okay. You don't need to compete for a degree. That being said, if you value friendship and collaboration and lifting other people up in their music making, it is so much healthier than thinking about competing against other people all the time and building them up to be enemies in your head. Personally, when I've entered competitions, I feel less competitive towards the people that I'm competing against and more worried about what the judges are going to think about me and my playing. It's more me versus the judges rather than me versus the other competitors in the competition. I think that's kind of a healthier way to channel that competitive energy, but really, we're, all the music majors should be in it together. You are all there to learn from each other. You're all there to progress and make friendships and collaborations. 
it's not about competing against each other, even though it might feel like that sometimes, but lifting each other up and building each other's strengths and helping each other with your weaknesses, that makes us all better people and that's just such a good thing to do. So those are five things I wish I knew before I went to music school. I hope that these tips are helpful for you. I know it's a really tricky time transitioning from high school to music school, so if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below, DM me on Instagram, or set up a college audition check-in with me. My website where you can sign up for a college audition check-in is down in the description box. You can easily find it and schedule a time with me. I would love to talk to you about any questions that you have, whether that's applying to schools, auditioning, what kind of audition repertoire you choose, if you want to have a mock audition where I tell you things that you can improve on, or if you just have questions about what music school life is really like, I will be happy to talk about all of that with you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. I just made a coffee profile too, so if you'd like to support my free content, you can find my coffee link down below. I would love it if you could support my free content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.